guys welcome back to my owl channel and another vlog it is 7 30 in the morning i'm at work my clients just about ready to come in she should be here shortly and i wanted to touch base and start this vlog i am so tired it's raining <laughs> i'm not tired for any reason it's just other than it's raining and i forgot a box of gloves this morning. Now, I do have what I consider to be like a secondary box of gloves here, but they're these ones, Vulcan. Anyway, they're a medium, so they're a bit big. And I hate them, but they're what I have here today. So I am going to use them this today, even though I don't want to. The reason why I started this vlog early was to show you some of what I got. So I'm not gonna be able to do like a full haul great at the moment, but I do want to dig out and just show you in general what I have from the nail throne and for tattooing. So I have kind of a haul for everything. Let's turn those over. So I'm going to start with tattooing because there's only two things. So I have pre-draw pencils because you essentially you use one per person. Now I reuse it when I'm practicing. But And then these are the red pens that are also for pre-draw. So I'm going to stash those away. I am discovering that I prefer the white pencils over the red pens. Um, but that may change. I mean, it's so new for me right now. I also have six bottles of Young Nails Protein Bond, three for myself, three for Michelle. I have a rubber top gel and a no wipe from Glitter Bells. So I'm going to stash those right now and put them up here. I always kind of just Wow, my glitters are such a mess. I always put them like high so that they're not right in the mix. And then that kind of lets me know that they're new. How do you guys do it? Do you keep them like hidden until you're ready to use them? What's the deal? So I'm gonna set those there. I also have a drill bit. I have the small cone bit. I really like these for underneath. So I'm just going to lay that with my drill bits. I'll put Michelle's protein bond there. Okay. So I'm going to stash my protein bond. Make sure they're upright because I don't need that like right now now, but I'm literally going to need it in the next couple of days because my protein bond is getting really low. So that was perfect timing. So let's look at what I have for colors. I'm probably going to like screen grab these and show you this way. I have oatmeal. I'm really excited for that one. I also have worth the squeeze. Be brave. Ravishing. I headed into the darker colors. I'm just, I'm going there. Bold babe. Black. Regular black. I love their black for lining. I also just love it for black polish. I have Ruby Manifest, Pretty Perky, Feeling Myself, Feeling Natural, and It's a Fling. And I also have, which this is hilarious because I haven't had new colors in ages. I have Cream Cake, Spicy, Poisonous, Affair, dare to wear and careless coral so i'm literally excited to see them all it takes forever so i need to show you this these leggings are slippery and i'm gonna end up on my okay so they have this foil and there's like no lip on it to be able to get that off of there let me tell you, it's a struggle. I'm gonna set these aside and I will basically just be taking the foil off of them. 
and swatching them whenever time permits. Can I do that? No. I'm gonna stash them for now. My client should be here in a minute and we will talk later. Okay, here we go with the same old problem. I don't have room. I don't have, let's just unhook you. I don't have room. I don't have room for all these new unbelievable gels. So here is what's gonna happen. Now I don't know yet where they're gonna go, but the ugly duckling are gonna have to go. I don't mean all of them, I just means the ones, I, I means, I just means the ones that I don't use a lot. It's raining, can't get going, I have had too much coffee and all it's really doing is giving me anxiety and not energy, so that's fun. Uh, so, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to move some ugly duckling in order to house two, four, six, how many do I have? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. What a lovely odd number. But the fact of the matter is there's 17 right now, but there's gonna be 17 more next time. So my God. Um, yeah, the ugly duckling are gonna have to go. Fortunately, fortunately, about half of them are near the end of their life. They're either near empty and I've kept them for nail art purposes. Why do we do that? Or they're colors that aren't popular, probably can go in a drawer, aren't likely to be used. So the lack and have to stay, I do use those and I use them fairly often. I now have uh, one shellac I finally crossed over to the dark side. I needed a sheer pink and my sheer pink from the Nail Throne from Glitter Spells was out of stock. So I got bow from shellac. Cheapest 20 bucks I ever spent. Anyway. I don't know what I have against shellac, I just don't love it. So, so we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're just going to clear out some ugly duckling. Some will go in a drawer, like I said, some need to go in the garbage. Uh, I could probably throw out one or two of the Glitter Bells gel polishes, but for what needs to go, they're not even worth opening. I'll, I'll just find them next time I find them and throw them. There's like one, I think, that's near empty enough that I could throw. So, anyway, all I'm doing right now is just talking to hear myself because I don't wanna actually put this plan into action. So, let's just put this plan into action. <laughs> may have just averted some of that crisis because this row was actually able to fit down there. I hate doing that. It makes it cluttery, but it may mean, mean, mm, it may mean that I don't have to go clear through the ugly ducklings right this moment. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 13. Where did I stop? 10, 11, 12, 13, and I only need room for 17. So a couple can go here and one can go there. And I did it. Okay, let's clean the shelf because we have a leaker. And seven minutes until my next client. Would you look at that? Also, if anybody wants me to talk about my polish racks, I've had some questions in the past about them. And I could do a full how-to tutorial 
to show you what I did to get them and um, maybe even provide the links if I can still find the wraps because these did not at all come like this. These are purchased but homemade, if that makes any sense. So I think what I'm gonna do is put this shelf up. Mm. Wait. Wait. Wouldn't it be easier to have bottles that I could see up here and the jars that I cannot see without standing up? Down, hold the phone. Wouldn't that make more sense? <sighs> okay. Let's just try it. We'll just try it. It's all we can do, right? This is the black, so it can go over here. White can also go over here. White. Okay, so as long as I do not buy another lacquer color, which I can do that, I can, I can refrain from that. for the most part. We're gonna put the new ones here. Is it gonna look stupid? Yeah. Do we care? No, I don't think we do. So all of the ones on the bottom are open, but not swatched. And I'm gonna put the other ones. Yes, ma'am. Perfect, check it out. So old ones, lack it, double stacked, but you know, it is what it is. And then the new ones, so opened, still need to be swatched, full. Perfection, chef's kiss.